log off, shut down, and get outside at Chris Holm Metro Park's Historic Farmstead area. Hi and welcome to Chris Holm Metro Park's Historic Farmstead located in Trenton. My name is Becky Vanderpool and I'm the Senior Manager of Park Connections with Metro Parks of Butler County. A couple of weeks ago while I was here at the farm, I was watching some various different types of bees and insects flying around on this beautiful bee balm plant. It was fully in bloom back then. There was one in particular that was that flew from flower to flower that really caught my attention. It looked like the tiniest little bittiest hummingbird. I really wanted to learn more because it was just something I'd never learned about or seen before. So I googled and what I found is that it's actually called a hummingbird moth and its movements and other things very much resemble that of a hummingbird. I wanted to learn more. The hummingbird moth, also known by the name clear wing moth, is easily mistaken for a tiny hummingbird. Its clear or transparent wings beat so fast that they are nearly invisible and create a buzzing sound just like a hummingbird does. The most obvious difference though is that the ruby-throated hummingbirds are about three inches long, while hummingbird moths are only about half that size at about one and a half inches long. Hummingbird moths are members of the sphinx moth family but unlike most sphinx moths who fly at night, hummingbird moths fly during the day. They can be found in various habitats, such as meadows, at the edge of forests, and in gardens. Hummingbird moths lay their eggs on plants. The yellowish green caterpillars are plump and have a spiky horn tail like most sphinx moth caterpillars. They remain in a thin cocoon sheltered in leaf litter during the colder months. This is a good reason to leave leaf litter around your yard and in your gardens. The hummingbird moths that emerge in late spring or early summer. Hummingbird moths long beak-like tongues called proboscis stays curled up under their chins and is unrolled to feed on the nectar in flowers. Filling your gardens with native nectar bearing plants like black-eyed Susans, milkweed, Shasta daisies, and zinnia is a great way to attract not only hummingbird moths, but hummingbirds and butterflies too. So thank you for joining me today here at Crystal Metro Park's Historic Farmstead. I hope you've learned a little bit about the hummingbird moth or clear wing moth as it's also called. And I hope you'll keep your eyes out and see if you can find any out and about on the various flowers and plants growing in and around the metro parks of Butler County. For other ways to log off, shut down, and get outside, visit our website at yourmetroparks.net. Thank you.